compared the time of, uh, of uh, the simulation time of component on CPU and CatFem simulated the same component on GPUs and, 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 uh, and gave us uh, this uh, astounding result that is, it has been accelerated by 15 to 20 times. We target to use our first gen of products for Industry 4.0 mainly as a safety scanner that is a must-have for many applications whenever you have people in the surroundings of mobile robots or dangerous areas. And so uh, these safety scanners can be integrated in autonomous mobile robots as well as intrusion virtual barriers. We closed our first fundraising uh, as a pre-seed in uh, 2024 with uh, four major uh, investors. We have the corporate venture Stellantis, Quantum Nation, Innovacom and Lyft. This year, in 2025, uh, we are looking for a second fundraising to launch the production of our first gen of product and also in the meantime to boost the development of a second gen of product for automotive applications. So getting access to all the software of ANSYS within this program is really a must for us because it saves a lot of money and also saves a lot of time because we are historical users of Memerical, so it was natural for us to continue. But also it was an opportunity to, to try some new software that we're including in the packages of the startup program. We are sure to find a solution in the, in the, the package of the startup program that ANSYS offers. Well, with ANSYS, I uh, mainly simulate the components that I uh, that I used to design. So in, as far as I'm concerned, I only use the numerical product from ANSYS. What I do is uh, simulating basically the, the field profile over a cross-section of a component. So this is, uh, seems pretty simple, like uh, say it like this, but in the end, you can extract some parameters that are going to be useful to, to plug them into, uh, into theoretical models and so on. So you, got, you, you can have for some components a good approximation of it. The other one that I use is finite difference time domain, which is a more uh, complete simulation method, which basically consists of um, meshing a structure and discretizing structure into some mesh cells with a certain resolution. And then you, uh, you basically solve Maxwell's equations at each mesh, mesh cell. So it, it gives a way a way better, a way more accurate result, but it also it's also more time consuming, of course. CatFem has been uh, uh, to us a real support, and especially in, in guiding us in, into accelerating our uh, our simulations, uh, both in providing uh, GPUs and in helping us calibrating them and. Uh, and uh, giving us support uh, when we need it in order to get our, uh, our simulation setup ready for to use the GPUs. We have now switched our simulation to, to GPUs since approximately four months now. We have seen the real progress, both in the, in the of course, simulation time, in the pace that uh, which we can develop, and, uh, and also in the quality of our development. We can go way deeper uh, in, into the development, development of our components. Well, the main issue that we faced is uh, slow simulation. So basically the simulation time that is way too, too, too high. Uh, and especially for the, for the FDTD simulation, uh, uh, it has been a, a, real, a real issue to uh, having to wait hours to get a simulation done. You can face this, this problem by, for example, introducing symmetry conditions on your, on your simulation. So you just have to simulate a part of your component and you uh, apply a symmetry to the on the other on the other part of the component. So obviously, it reduces by uh, two or four simulation time. You can also uh, simulate in two dimensions instead of three dimension, uh, and and still uh, and still get uh, satisfactory results depending on on the components. Of course, it's more approximate, but you can still uh, you can still get satisfactory results in in some in some cases. Catlin provided uh, uh, provided the hard, the hardware uh, to accelerate the simulations, the GPUs. So uh, we uh, 
We had the opportunity to interact with CATFEM uh, when uh, testing the acceleration, the GPU acceleration of our simulation. So basically we, we compared the time of, uh, of uh, the simulation time of component on CPU and CATFEM simulated the same component on GPUs and, 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 uh, and gave us uh, this uh, astounding result that is it has been accelerated by 15 to 20 times. So this, uh, this is of, of course has been a real, a real support uh, for us. The next step for Stellite for sure is uh, to securize the second fundraising by uh, the beginning of 2026 and to put into the market the first alpha prototype of our, our first product, which will be a safety scanner. And also we will continue to, to develop proof of concept of um, photonic integrated LiDAR for automotive application in the next future.